Hello, everyone. Um, I'm getting ready to do my radio show, and one it's one minute until show time. <laughs> my mother, Bonnie White, is going to be my guest today, and we're going to be talking about spirit art. It's going to be wonderful. So, I hope that you guys can follow me here on Facebook Live, and we're going to have a great time today. Great. great show. Sounds good. <laughs> And we have a surprise for you a little bit later in the show. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Oh, it's Wednesday morning, almost ten o'clock. <laughs> If, if you can see us, you can go ahead and, and do likes and hearts and things. We like seeing those. It's fun. Your show will go live in five seconds. Five four, seconds. Three, two, one. Lost Horse Radio. Welcome to Lilydale Radio, featuring topics about spiritualism, mediumship, healing, spirituality, and the Lilydale Assembly, the world's largest center for the religion, philosophy, and science of spiritualism. <laughs> this is Lilydale Radio. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesdays with Willa. I'm Willa White. I'm a registered medium here in Lilydale, and this is my radio show. Um, when I ask that uh, you enjoy this morning with me, I have a special guest, my mother, Bonnie White, and I'm going to explain a little about, about her and what she does, and we're going to have a great discussion about spirit art today, spirit art mediumship. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know the call-in number before I get started with anything else, though, because that seems to be a crucial element to this radio show. So, the number is... 818, oh, where did the number go? I don't see the number on mine anymore. Oh, there it is. 818-739-8818. Again, 818-739-8818. So, hope that you call in today, and we're going to have a great discussion with Spirit Art. So, those of you who have uh, seen the first few shows I've done, first two shows, uh, I explained a little bit about my mediumship background, and uh, last week my father, Bill White, was on. So if you want to go back and see those radio shows on my Facebook page, I have a Facebook page now, a, a public figure pa Facebook page, so you can go and check things out there. If you look up Willow White Medium on Facebook, you will find me, and you can like and follow me and share and do all of that great stuff so that other people can see it too. So it's exciting to be part of that world, and I'm going to be doing different Facebook posts as time goes on, so you want to be updated about all things Wednesdays with Willa and all things Willa White, right? So, and you can also look at my website, willowwhite.com. So uh, the call-in number again is, is 818-739-8818, just so you guys can be at the ready. So my parents have encouraged my development of mediumship and my spiritual growth, and their active spiritual search has definitely molded mine. So I grew up with meditation, development circles, discussions about spirit, uh, stories about the mediumship and healing abilities of my grandparents and extended family. And we're going to share a little bit about that today, because I have my mother, Bonnie White, who is an accomplished woman. Uh, she's a professional artist and in, in her own right, not just with spirit art. And she's been commissioned for portraits over the years. She's done eight presidents, church pastors, uh, individuals, and they're beautiful and representations of people. And uh, people really enjoy the looking at her paintings, not just her spirit art work. And so she's a spiritualist medium and her art manifests in spirit and her mediumship will allow the spirit to, to manifest in her art. So her life's work really melds those two activities, and each nourishes the other in a unique way. 
So, welcome to the show today, Mom. Well, thank you, Willa. <laughs> I'm enjoying being here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, growing up with you, I remember you'd have big books. Uh, you'd be reading uh, Leadbeater, and you'd be reading Alice Bailey, big, thick tomes of esoteric <laughs> things. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Richard Bach and all kinds of oh, yes, uh, yes. wonderful authors. Yes, it was very difficult when I started because... I couldn't find things on the subject that were in books. Um, I actually sent off to um, England for their um, newspaper, Psychic, what was it called? Okay. Psychic News, maybe? Was Psychic News. It was one Something from England. Like that. That, um, and so I would get that. But there wasn't anything I knew. However, there were little things like astrology books on the checkout counters and things like right, that. Right. But there wasn't anything like there is now. Oh, it's yeah. everywhere. And so people have reached a point of development now where they're actually so interested in this that it's worth the book people to sell them. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember one time I was in uh, uh, Buffalo and I was looking at the bookstores in the mall. Mm -hmm. uh, my friends and I would go up there and we'd search the mall for different things. You'd have to go into a cult oh, section a cult or something. Section. Yeah. And I was standing there one time and this man came up and he's, he asked me if um, I was a medium and he wanted me to do oh. uh, <laughs> police work. <laughs> oh my and I said, oh, I'm not ready for that. Thank you anyway. But it's interesting how the connections, you walk around and you must have a sign on you. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm thinking. And so that was that was kind of fun. <laughs> Reported back to my group. <laughs> yes, back to your group. Yeah. And, and growing up, you, you did have a, a, a circle that developed. Yes. Why don't you tell them a little bit about that? Um, you mean in your growing up? Yeah, in my yes. growing up as a, as a child. Uh, my friends and I, when, when I had children... Um, it was difficult to to go to places because we, all of us had children, my friends, and so we decided to start a quilting group. We met and we made a, crew, a quilt for each person, whoever had a baby. <laughs> okay. But as we developed our discussions, more and more went to the spiritual side. And there are so many stories that I have that my aunt told me, who was very influential, and so many stories that my father told me and that I experienced and knew as I was growing up, that um, and the other people started talking about their stories. Pretty soon, we had a meditation group. But the interesting thing was, we didn't leave the children out of it. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> I mean, we couldn't. We were all there. All of our children were playing, and we would be meditating and sitting and sitting with our hands out in front of us and and feeling feeling whatever came along. And all of a sudden, our children would hop into our lives, <laughs> into our laps, and it was really comfortable and nice. As soon as they had had hopped in and we hugged them or whatever, they'd go out, run off and play. So it was a very natural way to develop. It, we developed in a circle of friends, safe space, and every week we got more and more things from our meditations that we shared and we started giving messages to each other and working on healing for those in our families in our children, and it became um, a group that I'm still in touch with. Yes. Which is very nice. Yeah. So, 30 years ago, I have the same people that I know. 40 and years ago. 40 years ago. <laughs> and we're all still developing. There's no end. The universe gives us opportunities continuously to develop. It's not like, here's your development, here's your life. Right. Your life and your development go hand in hand. And the things you think and the things you listen to yourself talk about within, mm -hmm. those are the things that are very important in development, I believe. That is an excellent point. So, um, I'm so glad you, you made sure I 
I knew that. <laughs> Going up, even. Okay. And now they do, too. If you yes. haven't heard that before. <laughs> but anyway, we, we did have a wonderful time together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, did you want to... Oh, to yeah. Talk about Grandpa and talk about Aunt Okay, Grandpa. my father, Will, his grandfather, yes. he was one of those people, I believe, that was a very natural, had natural ability. Mm-hmm. And he had the ability to take pain away from people. So very frequently, if we were anywhere, let's say, for instance, we went to the restaurant, and uh, the hostess, who's uh, trying to tell you, you know, when it's your turn to sit and everything, she's holding her her side of her face, and she's looking like she's about to cry. And my father said, would go up to her and say, are you in pain? Yeah. And um, then he would say, I can take that away, but you have to promise to go to the dentist. Or whatever it was, he always made people promise, you have to go to the doctor, even though it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> and because the, the pain is one of those symptoms that you need to seek some something further. So he, I saw him so many times take the pain away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, he was even out in the um, backwoods of the Smoky Mountains uh, doing survey work with someone. And they were a long way from the road. And something happened to the guy's foot that was really severe. They knew they wouldn't be able to carry him out. So he said, I am going to work on your foot until you feel comfortable walking on it so that we can walk out. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. just like, okay, it worked. Yeah. And then they were able to go somewhere to get it looked at. So sometimes these emergency come, emergencies come, oh, yeah. come up. And uh, another thing about my father, he told the stories and story after story after story of his having his life saved by having an intuitional um, ability. One time, it was very, very foggy, and he was traveling on the road, and he just had suddenly, somebody said, pull over to the side of the road, pull off the road. He pulled off the road, and instantly, coming out of the darkness, was a bus passing a car, both lanes at that time, there weren't that many four lanes, both lanes were totally filled, and he would have been killed, probably. Yeah. So those things happen so many times, so he always tried to listen to the spiritual voices that he was connected with. So, and it's so interesting. Absolutely. It's really important to listen to your soul. Listen to that inner guide that's, that's right. telling you how to proceed in your life uh, wisely and in the flow of God's will. Yes. And, uh, you know, the angelic energy surrounds us and really supports us in our lives. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I know with Gram Grandpa, he, <laughs> he was in times he needed it. <laughs> he was a character in addition, you know. Oh, absolutely. He, the sense of humor would not quit with him. An entertainer, you might say. <laughs> Very With much a physical <laughs> comedian. The as world well. was his stage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you know, that's uh, just one of those things that yeah. so I remember fondly. Absolutely, so, a yeah. lot of good joy with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell them about Aunt Clara? Cause she's my like, Aunt her Clara. story. Oh <laughs> my goodness! I, um, my Aunt Clara was a wonderful person. She had a personality that was very engaging. And she could talk to any age, anybody, any culture, anywhere. <laughs> she was that kind of person. And her um, daughter passed in a very bad accident, a boating accident, actually. And she saw it happen. And six months later, her husband passed. So she had these two major people. She still had two more children. She had these major per people in her life pass. And of course, that was huge. But also, she had um, her husband's business. 
Now, her, she, her husband's business was an electrical company in near Chicago, outside of Chicago. Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> and uh, so she was suddenly cast as the owner of this business into the prospect of what can we do now. Now, it was right after the Depression. Mm -hmm. All of the people who worked for them, if she had shut down the business, would have been out of jobs. There wasn't a lot of prospects for the future there. And so she determined that she would try to keep the business going. But she knew nothing about it. Back then, the woman stayed home, took care of the children. Um, the man did the business. That was a totally different world. Mm -hmm. She was not aware of the details of, of how to get a bid. It was a big electrical business. Mm -hmm. And so she took it on. And there was a point that came when she needed to make a bid, a certain bid, in order to stay in business. And she said she just agonized about it. She um, was crying in bed one night. And before the next day, they were going to have to make that bid. And she still didn't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And her husband, who was deceased came in and said, what's happening, darling? And she said, I don't know how to make the bid. It was like a natural thing, she said. He was in the room. And she said, he said, well, I'll tell you what to do. Go in tomorrow and get the book with the pink papers. Now, these books were apparently something that was screwed together. They had two kind of solid... Uh, pieces, one on each side, and they had these bolts going through them, and they had a lot of those, and the invoices and the and the job things were all in those books. Yes. And he said, you'll find it in there. So she goes in the next day. Now, her secretary was a man, and he was, she said, it's, uh, the job has already been figured, it's just like another job, and he says it's in the book with the pink slips. So they started looking for the book with the pink slips. Every book had yellow slips, if you can imagine. <laughs> so there they are. They're, they're looking and searching, and there's no place to go. It's getting closer and closer to 1 o'clock in the afternoon when it has to be in, the deadline for getting the bids in. And they finally they kept take, hauling book after book out of the closet, and finally... Just in time, the fellow said, I found a book with pink slips, right? But he was, she was starting to think that it had been a mirage, you know, <laughs> right. that her husband had come. Um, and she uh, looked through. By that time, it's too close. It's a huge book. And she starts to cry in front of the book. And she said, a wind came through blew the pages out open and landed right on the appropriate one. And she was so happy. So she dashed to the place where they had to put the bid in. Yes. And she put the bid in and she got the bid. So that meant all of the families of the people that work there right. would have a livelihood. Yes. Because they didn't have the kind of structure crucial. we have now. Yeah. So um, that was... And also she had told me she had a feather bed... Uh, quilt, a feather quilt on top with smooth um, satiny top mm -hmm. and when after she'd had this communication with her husband at night the depression of his body was in the quilt yes, yes, so that was still like, visiting, yeah yeah, and it's really important so, so it was so good, so she had she, had, she a lot of that. had a lot of spirit communication with also with her daughter. Yes. Um, I just want to remind people of the number to call in, which is 818-739-8818. Again, 818-739-8818. So you can call in and be part of the discussion. You know, we just wanted to share a little bit of a couple stories from the family background. Yes, yeah. that it, you know, They helped to shape shape us and, and shape how we'd move forward. Uh, 
we're we're going to talk about how you, how you came to Lilydale real briefly and and the spirit art, okay? How we came to Lilydale? My goodness, um, I had come here in the '60s somewhat because you heard of about it because I heard about Lilydale, of course. I had been attending by that time. I was attending a group in uh, a home circle in Jamestown mm -hmm. with Helen Long and Lilia Ayala. And um, we met once a week, and they did trance mediumship as well as training in mediumship and giving messages. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah, and really that, formative. Very and then so. from there, I started to come to Lilydale. And you came to Lilydale because you heard of, of, of a certain thing that you wanted to see. What was that? The painting. Oh, the paintings. Oh, yes. yes. Somebody told me. I'm sorry. <laughs> somebody told me. Oh. I, there's so many stories. I, I know, but do. we have to make um, sure. You somebody can told back. me about the paintings <laughs> in Lilydale. Yes. So I wanted to see them, and they were in the uh, Maplewood. In the Maplewood Hotel here in Lilydale. Maplewood Hotel. And I remember there was a big painting behind that curtain that's in that room. Same room as Azure. Oh, the, yeah, the mountain station. And uh, I also had another friend whose whose mother was a trumpet medium, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who um, worked for a lawyer in Jamestown. And um, I met with her some, mm -hmm. somewhat. And in her house there was a spirit art painting. Mm. As you went up the stairs, so I saw a couple of really big, well done spirit art paintings. And that was part of the inspiration. And that was part for of you. my inspiration for coming here. That's right. Absolutely. I keep forgetting that little. I know. Detail. Because it, you know, being an artist, yeah. is, you know, really was important for you to start to, to right. see those as possibilities. Yes. yes. And um, then you know you were doing a lot of study here in Lilydale, mm -hmm. and uh, you, uh, because I expressed interest, you always made sure. Even when I was in college, my parents would come and pick me up at college. <laughs> <laughs> so I could come and attend development circles here in Lilydale because of my intense interest. Mm -hmm. So that's how supportive, as parents, they were in my development. They weren't forcing it, but they no. were fostering it and making it possible for me to, to grow and learn in those ways, too. Because it's, it's not just about what school gives you. It's, it's about that's right. um, and what happens. other educations that you take on for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the directions that you take sometimes are very personal. Very personal. And um, not everybody in the family will take the same direction. True. And that's just how that works. That's right. Um, the number again, because uh, we're going to do something interesting very soon, and I think you're going to want to call in so you can be part of it. So 818-739-8818. Again, 818-739-8818. So let's talk about spirit art mediumship. What is spirit art mediumship? Oh, well, what is that? <laughs> well, well, uh, explain this. This has people. evolved, I think, into the idea that um, you can allow spirit to work through you as you draw or paint. Mm -hmm. And with setting the attention ahead of time is very important. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you um, begin to draw, you allow yourself to just let whatever happens happen. Mm -hmm. It's not like an intentional thing. Right. The intention is to allow spirit to develop something from the, pa on, the paper. On the paper or right, on or the, the canvas. canvas right. Mm -hmm. Or even you could do it with sculpture too. Yeah, sure. Of so, course. In fact, I think people do that. Yeah. 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 And that would be fun. It would be fun. Yeah. It would be very you fun. You can do it in the sand if you go to the beach. That's right. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Well, that's, yeah. So the sand mandala is a bit of a spirit art, but that's so it's intentional. Yeah, that's it, a different. This thing. is not an, you know, mm -hmm. the what the way that you work as a spirit artist. It, mm -hmm. It's fresh and it's in the moment, mm -hmm. and it's very much what spirit is directing you that's to right. do and to bring out. I don't see the. Uh, I don't see the spirit and then draw it. That right. would take me. A long time. A long time, sure. But when I do the spirit art readings, there could be a 30-minute reading, or they could be 
just a quick, sometimes I do it at the stump, just sure. a quick the inspiration stump uh, services. brush with the charcoal and faces appear right. and other items. And it's like there, you just have to allow the spirit to work. Absolutely. And that's the hardest part, I think, for a medium is just to be in that state, especially when you're in public. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's very difficult to be, keep from the distractions True. while you're trying to do the spirit work so that you can still be standing <laughs> <laughs> and give yourself over to that. So it's the, uh, and it, I love doing it. Yes. I love doing it. And when I pick a person, I always feel a sense of loving connection. Yeah. For, for me, that is an important piece. To feel that sense, and then I have this incredible confidence that whatever's going to be, be there is for them. Yes, it and is it's for them. And it's only for them. Yes. Just to make it so that they have something. Yes, it's very personal from mm -hmm. spirit, from their spirit loved ones yeah. through you onto onto the paper. And we are going to do a spirit art reading today. <laughs> We're gonna do this on air, and then later on we uh, we're going we're gonna pick someone who's called in here to do the reading, and we're going to um, then take a picture of it, and I'll put it on my Facebook page so that you can see it up close, and and for the person who um, who who gets this reading, they'll they'll be able to access it that way, and, and you know be able to look at it further if they wish because spirit art does evolve over time as yes. well sometimes you know many times people report that over the next year things change you know we were learning this past weekend about how a polar when you take a polaroid you know the old-fashioned polaroid pictures mm -hmm. that they take up to a year to fully develop and other things can can show up uh, in that time so so it is with the spirit art that was so interesting. It was very yes. interesting. Now, uh, for those of you who want to see more of her spirit art, you can go to her website, which is www.bonspirit.com. So that's B-O-N-N-S-P-I-R-I-T.com. So <laughs> Bon, like Bonnie, and Spirit, as in Spirit. So bonspirit.com. So you can see things because... You know, you do big paintings oh, I know. for people, huge paintings, and those take a couple hours at least, right? Well, the ones that are 16 by 20, 16 they're not by that 20. big, but I also do big paintings, but yeah, um, not for a reading. Right, but for, for a reading, you do a big one. Yes. And that takes, is that two or three hours? That's two, at least two hours. At least two hours for the big one. And then she also does... Um, a pastel, a pastel which is 11 by, 14. 11 by 14, and then when she goes to the... No, the then I do the 11 stump. by 14 in the charcoal, too. Well, 11 by 14 Three different charcoal. things. My goodness, there's mm. so many things. But then when I go to the stump, <laughs> I do it on a 5 by 7. Right. And uh, so then she does a 5 by 7. Uh, I want to take the collar that we have here. So, uh, last four digits of of the number 6055 and the number for other people if you wanted to call in that number is 818-739-8818 again 818-739-8818 and we're going to take the caller 6055 and welcome her to the show hello hello good morning, good morning. what's your name and where are you calling from my name's michelle and i'm calling from California. Wonderful. Welcome, Hello. Michelle. Welcome. <laughs> what did you want to share about today? Uh, well, I actually was uh, interested in the spirit artwork. Um, I did one uh, drawing, you know, just an automatic drawing, and it turned out to be a guide of mine that um, I had the name, and I was able to confirm who they were by finding a photograph of them. Yes. Um, but I haven't done any um, spirit art for... Uh, my mediumship clients, and I was curious about how um, you all went about it, and you explained that so far in the program, and then I'm also excited if I might be able to get spirit art work done for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. I, I think this would be a perfect time to do that. You want to do, do it? it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do the spirit it. art for let's Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
from one spirit artist to another. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, these are just quick, um, what I do for eensy weensy teensy mini readings. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I use uh, two or three pieces of charcoal. I don't know. If, if you're on Facebook Live, you can see my mother's yeah. holding up little tiny pieces of little charcoal. Pieces of ch <laughs> I like to use more than one because that makes it impossible for me to keep track of it. And I think it's important not to keep track of what you're doing when you do this. Yeah, <laughs> be random. I know. It's, it's the strangest thing because in art school, you're always trying to make it look exactly like whatever it is you either have in your mind or what you're seeing in yes. the room. And it's just a totally different process. So, and Michelle, bear in mind that you can use um, you could use twenty pieces if you want, but um, then it goes in the carpet. But charcoal is a wonderful <laughs> cleaning ability. You know that's what they clean fish tanks with. Uh, <laughs> this is what she tells herself when she has charcoal smears on her face after doing readings. I'll say, Mom, you have charcoal on your face. I'm not afraid of charcoal. She's not afraid of charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Michelle, I'm, uh, I've already heard, just say your name to me again. Your name Michelle, is? Michelle, and I'm curious, how do I find this on Facebook? Oh, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, Willow White, if you look up on Facebook okay. in the search place, you say Willow White Medium, you will find me. And then you can see the Facebook Live there, and then later on, you'll be able to, I'll take a picture of this so that you have it. So that you can see it. Great. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <clears throat> okay, Michelle. As an additional thing, I just want you to know because you won't see this until you see the Facebook. But um, I close my eyes when I do it. Okay. So that's okay. another thing to okay. remember. So it keeps you out of the the issue. Now I'm going to just take a moment, take a breath. Okay. I'm going to put this across. Okay, I'm going to dump the charcoal off, the bits, the little bits. Um, what I'm seeing is something quite interesting. Yeah. Now, it's nice to have another person looking over my shoulder here. I'm going to hold it up right now. You see that? And For those um, on Facebook Live, you can see. So those of you are on Facebook Live can look at it. Okay, now I'm going to tell, I'll tell Willa what I'm seeing right away. I am actually seeing um, someone on horseback here. I'm wondering if it's a camel actually, but oh, see, there's the, there's the horse and um, there's a person up here um, on horseback. So there's the, there's the two eye, there's the two eyes here. Let me see. Two eyes there. There's the horse that's coming up there. You can probably see it. Um, and there are also what appears to me like wings here. So I feel yeah. like it's an angelic presence who's coming in on horseback. Um, there, the horse, did, did you have a horse at all or have you familiarity with horses, Michelle? Um, I, I've never had a horse. I have lived in a town where we would ride horses, okay. and I do have some angel guides that have been showing up in readings. Okay. So, oh. so uh, don't be surprised then to see that this is an angel above the horse. There's also a man uh, coming in right here. I can see just above the, um, the horse's head, I can see the eyes, and there's a pretty good sized hat. So there's a man who's probably someone in spirit that you're familiar with. He he seems like a pretty big person. His face seems large. Yeah, yeah it does have a large um, face. He has too. a larger uh, face and there there's also a second horse in the back. Oh, see that? The second horse. Yeah, I see the second see, horse. See there's one one horse there, one horse there. I'm holding it up so that people can see it who later, or you can see it later. Right. All right. 
So there's also a man coming in. So I feel like this angelic presence is actually bringing in someone from your family, Michelle. From spirit, yeah. From spirit. And riding a separate horse. So that person would have been someone who would wanted to have his own course in life, wanted to be in charge of where he was directing to go. And I'm, and I'm sensing it was someone who was very important to you, too, in your development. Um, there's also in the picture um, the idea of travel. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. horsepower, especially since you didn't actually have a horse, it's not a horse of yours, horsepower means travel. Mm -hmm. It means uh, cars, trains, planes, anything with horsepower. We always measure it that way. So this man who's coming in, who I feel is your relative in some way, has also the idea of wanting to make moves. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I have to say that it feels very good also for you that whoever this, I'm not getting exactly who it is. Can, do you get anything with that, Willa? I, I see his, his broad, it's a broad face mm -hmm. with very strong features. Yes. And see, this is, uh, what's interesting about my mother's spirit art is things are kind of layered one on top of another. So you can see the art, the angel in one section and then the horses in another. And then the, the, the face of this gentleman is there too. And yeah, I can see the, the broadness to his face. And I'm also seeing... Nice lips, too. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also... And he's, I looked over at him, and I saw a smile, but I don't see it when I look directly. Oh, there's another face superimposed over his. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Uh-oh. And then over, <laughs> the, over the horse, there's yet another. Bring so that one you out. have uh, a lot of people showing up here. And there's a woman who has kind of short hair. Oh, short-haired woman. A short-haired woman right in there. Do you see her? Yeah. Okay. I do see that. That's in the uh, in a, around the horse's um, heads. Near yeah. where the eye might be. Yeah. So you're getting a lot of people coming in, and they will continue to develop. And they, they, the more I look at it, the more of them come through. And so there's somebody's lips right there. Right. Now, that was someone, um, they're telling me that, and I feel like it's a woman, and you would not have been able, she would not have been able to tell you some things that she wanted to say before passing. Um, oh. See her there? Yeah. She's she. It's like I like she a can't longing. Talk. You can see that she couldn't talk, uh, or either that, or you weren't in the room before she passed, and she wanted so badly to tell you thank you and to tell you how much she appreciated everything you've done. Right. So, yeah. That. Yeah. I. I, I see that too. <laughs> right there. <laughs> You'll see it later, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. But do you understand some of the Over things there. that she's been mentioning? You, I know you understand the horse I connection. Absolutely do. Oh, good. What can you confirm about this? Yeah. Um, what I can confirm is that I just moved out of my home of four years and left my job of 17 years. Mm. Um, I am couch surfing at different client homes right now until about New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going on a trip tonight. <laughs> tonight! <laughs> um, <laughs> so there's lots of, lots and lots of movement in my life right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I can find, I, found, I found the Facebook Live page, and oh. it's the internet here, it's kind of coming in and out. So I hope to see the picture a little bit more later. Sure, um, sure. When you post it. Yes. And um, you were mentioning I have a lot of people, and yes, definitely my father and my grandfather mm -hmm. are helping me with the, my career, my spiritual career, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so definitely I have a lot of, I know there's a lot of family members as well as a lot of other spirits that are helping me with this and um, even friends. I, there was a reading recently where somebody saw a bunch of people on bicycles coming to help me. And oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. Well, we'll I'll make sure we do this after, after the show so you have it as soon as, as soon as possible. And that way you can get it off of Thank my so Facebook much. page. Yo, you're very welcome, Michelle. Thank, Thank you, you for calling in. Thank and you have for, a good day. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, wonderful. time's going by so fast. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Like <laughs> six and a half. Um, okay, so uh, let's take a, another caller real quickly. I hope we have time for all this. Um, which I guess there are two different ones here. Um, maybe my producer can help me figure out which one I need to talk to next. You you could put us on the line with with Trevor one where I'm supposed to talk to you next. Okay, producer. <laughs> Are we just out? Let's see. Hello. 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 Hello, and welcome to Wednesdays with Willa. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Cheryl. I'm actually from Sevierville, Tennessee, which is outside of Knoxville. Tennessee. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Oh. We have family there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm excited. What is your name? What is her name? What did you say your name was again? It's Cheryl. Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl. wonderful. Cheryl. <laughs> wow. when, what, what was your comment or question that you had? Well, I, you know, I just, I visited there um, recently, and so I talked to the last song on the radio last oh. week or week before, and now I'm talking with you. I'm just reaching out, learning. I'm just learning a lot of, I'm learning. Um, Great. Isn't I find that it good? very interesting. Um, <laughs> so that's all. And I'm just interested in the art. I'm right. also an artist. I do oh. paint. So um, I'm just interested to hear what what is said. Yes. Well, I'm nice. glad that you're you're tuning in and and you know each each time we we meet with people of like mind, be it in person or on the radio. <laughs> We learn more about ourselves and, and our process, and it firms up for ourselves how we want to proceed in our lives and in our spirit contact and in our mediumship. And it's wonderful that these connections, and she said that she had come to Lilydale. Mm -hmm. So Lilydale, yeah. people come from everywhere to Lilydale, and it's really exciting to me that somebody's from Sevierville, because I graduated from Gatlinburg. Yes, high school there. So... <laughs> <laughs> Which you know where that is. <laughs> right. yeah. I do. I'm, I'm not originally from here, but mm -hmm. I've been here many years. Uh huh. Wow. So my daughter was raised here in uh -huh. Tennessee, and yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Well, yeah. well, I hope that. <laughs> Uh, I hope that you, you continue to tune in and continue to learn more about Lily Deal and mediumship, and I'm I'm gl glad to hear from your neck of the woods. <laughs> yes, it's wonderful. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You be well and have a good day. I know we, we don't have much left of our show, and, and uh, I do want to mention real quickly, my mother has a, a workshop coming up, and it's on Saturday, October 7th. And it's in Edinburgh, PA, through Bolts of Love. And if you want to know more about it, you can look at the Bolts of Love uh, com. Dot com website. But it is about spirit art. The title of it is Spirit Art Creation and Inspiration. So if you want interpretation, interpretation, sir, uh, that if you want to learn more about spirit art in person, and you're able to get to Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, you can take my mom's workshop. And it's, it's right around the corner here, you know, it's October mm -hmm. 7th, so you better make plans now <laughs> to, to get there and be able to enjoy that. Um, I have classes coming up as well, and I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do a, a Facebook Live post about that uh, in the next day or so, because my classes start in two weeks. And they're at the, the local college here in Jamestown, New York. They, they've had me teach for about a decade there um, in the fall and in the spring. I do, do spiritual development classes. So you have those to look forward to as well. You can find them on my website at willowwhite.com and find out how to register that way. But as I said, I'll try to do a Facebook post just to kind of keep you guys in the loop on that because I'm, I'm sure some of you would be interested and in, in available to attend those. So uh, we have those coming up. So my mom's website is bondspirit.com, and you can look at her spirit art there. It's beautiful, the colors, the, the big paintings. And one of the things that the Lily Dale is hoping my mom will do is a few podcasts uh, with spirit art so you can she can explain a little about about some of the spirit art paintings that she's done already and the stories that are behind them and, and the importance that they... Uh, that they've been to other people and their stories that they've come back to her with. And I think that'll be fascinating. So that's something to look forward to. Yeah. 
Our show is winding down. Oh my goodness. Um, so again, uh, tune in for next week, which is Wednesday, September 27th at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., same channel, same time. And I'm going to have Patricia Price on as my special guest. So Wednesdays with Willow is at 10 a.m. And oh, let's see. Oh, we only have like a minute left here, people. <laughs> Oh. So, um, the, the show has gone by so fast, but we wanted to share a, oh, just a, a bit about uh, spirit art and how that relates to, to mediumship, just to kind of give you a taste. It's a sampling, as it were. And that way, we'll, pro we'll probably have Mom on some more. She is my mother, right? <laughs> can't say no. Okay, she can't say no. Aww. <laughs> But uh, we'll probably have her on some more as uh, as time goes on, and maybe there'll be more uh, spirit art readings. And I do have some other people lined up as special guests that that uh, will be doing readings from from time to time. So I hope that you have enjoyed hearing a bit about spirit art, mediumship, and if if you get on Facebook Live on my my page there, you can see it ha happen in real time. <laughs> And you can always check us out next week. Thanks so much. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Have a wonderful...